Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm uh, this isn't a what if or anything, this is gonna be like a a one no one off type thing, you know. I guess this little video, I don't know how long it's gonna be. I'm just consider this just a ramble, a rambling section. Um, cause I, oh, I feel like I owe it up to y'all to kind of explain why I, uh, why the, you know, the time length of videos has been so long the way it's just been. Cause I know it's been bad before, but now it feels like, you know, it's getting worse and, uh, If you hear stuff, don't, don't worry about that. I'm just uh, outside, you know, touching grass, you know what I mean? Can't stay inside all the time. But, um, the reason why my time has been as, been so sparish, I guess, is that the word I want to use, sparish? Is that, uh, bird, I guess I had a mouse hat. Anyway, one, I got a job, like a job job, so that's already taken up more of my time than I would have to make in videos, and don't think it's from a lack of create creativity if anything that's the problem the reason why it takes me so long to get videos out is that well my whatever y'all see in the videos isn't the true script if that makes sense like i have had so many videos or video ideas with like script pages that are like 16 to even 30 pages long and I would like type them out thinking it's a good idea then I would just save it walk off do something else then I come back a little while later look at the script think it's dog shit and just scrap it and uh yeah I just kept doing it for like I think a week straight and I think that specifically was for the whole I guess mainly for the what if killer kill 360 was in high school DXC that's why you know you haven't even seen a a six part yet because you know I've had so many iterations of the script that's just been scrapped because I just didn't like it So again, I don't want to make it feel like I'm just holding out on y'all. It's like, hey, whatever idea I think is good, I just, I don't know. I think it's good one day, and then I look at it again, and then I just don't like it anymore. I don't know why. I guess, you know, I am my own harshest critic. I like my widows, but at the same time, I don't. It's like, oh, I finish a what-if, do the editing as much as I can, because, you know, I don't want y'all to just be staring at a singular image. I just want to have other stuff in it, whether it's having B-roll footage, music, transition sounds, whatever, or just anything to enhance it. That's pretty much what I was do, trying to do, which already makes the video take even longer to come out. But, uh, yeah, it just kind of became a, a cycle of me not really feeling it. And then when I do feel it, I make a script that's about like 16 to 20 pages long. 
And after I do that, I take a break. And then I come back, reread it, don't like it, scrap it, and the cycle repeats. And that's why, you know, the gap between videos goes from a few weeks to a few months. Because it's just like, huh. Because for me, it, it, it has never been a burnt out issue. It's always been a, uh, something I think is good. But then I look at it again. I just don't like it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you would call it. But that's kind of how I feel. So just keep in mind. The videos y'all do eventually see. That's probably like the 15th iteration of it. Of the exact same story. That I just kept making scripts for. Because I just didn't like it. I didn't like the narrative. I didn't like my energy. I didn't like how it was paced. I just, yeah. And then when I do record, I either bring in too low of an energy, have to in post increase the audio, jokes I thought was funny, but it ain't. I'm just doing whatever I can, really. It's like, oh, I like it in the moment, but then once I'm done, I just don't. But again, I have fun editing. Editing isn't the, the problem. It's just, I don't know. Maybe it's a me issue. I don't know if other, what if YouTubers feel the same way that I'm feeling? I don't know if this is just a, a me thing. And Again, it doesn't help the fact that, you know, a lot of what if YouTubers, you know, they just either stop or do something else, which, you know, it's fine. It's fine. This, this genre of telling stories was already niche enough as it is. So the fact that people kind of stopped just made it even more of a niche. Because again, anime is already a niche. And then you take what if stories and you know what if stories like oh you know Goku not having a hard virus or Naruto getting the Rendagon or <laughs> Goku trapped in the hyperbolic time chamber or whatever the fuck people be making and just milk to death. But hey, it's fine. It, it don't bother me. Get your bread, you know. Because for me, my way of trying to make what is is that, hey, I want to at least make it sound realistic with the narrative that's already there. Rather than, like, sure, sure. Like, you can look at a story like um, Kill a Kill 360 in high school with DXD. And sure, there are some elements I took from other things that would push the lines of reaching but I've never done anything so out of the extreme that it sounds unrealistic to happen in a verse like that like for example uh, the way how Issei gets his abilities from high school with DxD isn't too far off from how I had kill a kill or Ryuji's character get his abilities in high school DxD. Now granted, he already kind of already knew what his powers were. He just needed it to find a way to awaken it. But for Issei, it was kind of the opposite of way. He didn't even know what it was to even awaken it. But Ryoji kind of already knew, or at least not the full story, but enough to where he can use it comfortably. So, he already kind of had that little bit of advantage of Issei. 
but I didn't want it to feel like because of this, Ryuji would just be overpowering the narrative to such an extent that Issei might as well don't even be there. I still wanted both to be there. That's kind of where my gripe with some what it's become, whereas putting an OC in the story is fine. That, that doesn't bother me. Sometimes then that can be fun. But I never want to do it to such an extreme extent to where my character overpowers the original narrative. Like, I don't mind alterations to stories. But if it's so much of an alteration to the point to where that the main character feels like a side character in their own series, then it kind of turns me off from the what if altogether. Because again, sure, there's nothing wrong with hearing things from your side of the perspective. But at the end of the day, you're still the side character in the main character's world. So again, if the narrative of your character is that he's supposed to be a main character, that's fine. Like if your character is supposed to be as strong as Luffy or as strong as Naruto or as strong as Ichigo or as strong as whatever shown the MC or relative to their power that's fine but just don't do it to such an extent to where it's like your OC quite literally could just finish the narrative in less time than the character who was already built up to be that strong in the first place because at that point kind of feels like you know you're wasting the viewers time because it's like oh okay if they're this strong why didn't they just do this why didn't they just do that why didn't they just do this or that <sighs> yeah, yeah i don't want to point fingers because you know everyone's at fault of doing that even me my older videos where i would just make a character so ridiculously strong to the point where that you know they can pretty much take care of the narrative by themselves even i'm guilty of that so I don't want to be like, oh, everyone else is doing that but me. I'm the only what if YouTuber that's doing it. No. I'm just saying, like, as you get deeper into it, things kind of change. Like, what if back in 2020 to 2021 during the, uh, you know, the quarantine days isn't the same as the what is now? Like, back in 2021, it was fine to just have a singular image being the only thing you saw throughout the entire length of the video with you just probably in a take and a half of doing it and you just upload it on youtube that was fine then but now everyone or at least in my opinion should upgrade past that whether it's having music in the background or cleaning up the the, the audio in the background so people don't have to hear pretty much everything else but you and trust me, all the criticism I'm having is coming from a guy who has dealt with it too. So hey, I had to grow and try to make things better, you know? I've I've improved my thumbnails to an extent to whereas I would look back on my old thumbnails and be like, damn, I was shit at making thumbnails. Or, oh, the editing I used to look at back then, whereas, let's be honest, barely to any. <sighs> but, yeah, yeah. I don't know where this was supposed to go anyway. Thing, I'm just going to keep this as a rant. Or I guess a rambling. Uh. Well, I guess uh, for any what if YouTuber that wants to come into to the scenes and you know just do things, hey, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. Don't be afraid to do scripts. 
even if you think they sound robotic or formulaic because again scripts now for some people they can just free gun it and the story will sound natural because again the story is kind of popping up in your head as you're talking but hey but hey for some that works for others it don't for me i like to do a little mixture of both whereas i would have a script with a general idea of what i want to do and i will just paraphrase off of what i wrote rather than saying exactly what i wrote which helps it keep keep it fresh and that you know oh in case you mess something up anything you didn't say before take that as an opportunity to add because i already know some people especially with what ifs you take the time talk to your phone or camera or whatever for like 15 20 30 40 or even an hour and uh oh something goes wrong or the file gets corrupt this thing won't load in or worse the software that you were talking on just crashes so all of the progress you had is just gone i'm sure we all dealt with that and yes it's the most infuriating thing ever but hey i'd say instead of just putting it down and just not doing anything about it i would say keep that same general idea in your head and whatever you probably brushed over or didn't add as much context to it as you could have use that as an opportunity to make the script that was already there before even better now again scripts aren't for everybody talking off the dome isn't for everybody but hey it don't have to be find something that works for you and go that way if because keep in mind this genre is already niche enough as it is so again you know you gotta do whatever you can to be separate from someone else because i'm sure there was everyone you know there was a point in time where it felt like well it still kind of feels that way whereas a what if anime thumbnail were pretty much all made from the exact same person like you would see the exact same font with uh, a png of a anime character center around whatever what if it is being set around with the same background or similar background with a different hue to make it look match up and I'm sure you know we all probably seen that and you know hey sometimes it's like I don't know I kind of reached the point where it's like every it's like what if that was all really niche enough felt even more boxed in because everyone was doing the same thing doing the same stories just in a different way doing the same thumbnails just in a slightly different way that's why uh well with my thumbnails they at least look different from each other or at least i try to to make it look unique i try to tell stories that sound plausible for the narrative that's already there like oh how many people like the whole goku stuck in the hyperbolic time chamber but let's be honest with ourselves how realistic is that well, granted goku could use as an opportunity to get way stronger but at the same time the hyperbolic time chamber doesn't exactly stop someone from leaving because again you have these characters who can just you know if they're stuck in a dimensionless void they can just open one on command you know what i mean so trying to put someone in a realm by themselves just doesn't work for characters post boo saga where they can just scream wormholes in you know spatial dimensions and just open one if there isn't one to be opened so trying to put goku in a hyperbolic time chamber just doesn't work now it can work i'm not saying that 
it's impossible for it to work. But again, obviously there are more realistic narratives that you could use. Or if you are going to say it like that, don't try to make it sound like somebody else's what if. Again, there's nothing wrong with inspirations. There's nothing wrong with having an idea from another what if YouTuber, liking it, and you know, you don't twist on it. That's the whole point of, you know, art, literature, and pretty much damn near anything. Whereas someone was expired off of something that someone else did or came up with years prior and just expanded upon it in their own way to create a new story and people love it. So again, inspiration isn't the issue. Flat out copying is an issue. Because again, you can be inspired by something without copying it. The whole, oh, copying the test. Because again, you don't learn anything from, from copying. You don't learn anything. You don't learn why that what if was good in the first place. If you just flat out copy it. But if you actually like took the time to read their script, watch the video, truly understand why this was going on. Now granted, yeah, it does help with views. Sure, it could help with views, but it's like, hey. It's like, hey, if you were to ask me what I want to have in making my own original stories, or just be that guy back in 2021 who's just making a billion and Deku betrayed stories getting thousands tens of thousands of views but it's always the exact same story with a different power set every single time like how many powers I mean how many stories have you heard where either Deku is aware of something going on but he ignores his danger sense and gets beat on anyway or someone cheats on him which you know why would you do that or oh he gets you know people think that he is the traitor which again you know in hindsight doesn't really make sense and on top of that but these characters knowing Deku they wouldn't just suddenly switch on him in the way that these stories like to betray it which again, not only does it sound like something that wouldn't happen, it's already unrealistic on top of that. Which already just takes me out the story. Now again, I'm willing to suspense my disbelief if the story is good. Like, if the power set of the character was already reaching, if the story that was built around it is good, then I'm willing to suspend my disbelief. Like, obviously... Goku can't appear in the high school DxD world, right? But if the story around that is good and it has an actual, you know, good narrative, then I'm willing to look past the whole unrealistic way of him appearing in this world that would be completely alien to him. But, hey. <sighs> I think I'll stop here. I think I've rambled on long enough. But, uh, hey, if you sat here this long listening to me just ramble, hey, props to you. And, hey, if you're already this far, hey, might as well hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share it to, to your peoples. And, uh, yeah. Another video will come out eventually, but hey, peace.